Hello friends this is Web's lesson video tutorial on PHP Laravel framework and here we will discuss how can we implement pagination in Laravel using Ajax jQuery. First we will make simple pagination in Laravel and after this we will add Ajax jQuery functionality into Laravel pagination. Because Ajax will makes your application more flexible and we have not need to reload or refresh whole body for view next records on web without reloading whole page. And pagination in web development is one type of process of dividing a large number of records into different part and display records in different part. So this things we have made Laravel using Ajax. Now we are start learning this topic. So here we have one test database and in this we have one posts table in and in this we have already inserted some data. So we will implement pagination in Laravel using this data. This is our Laravel working folder. Here first we want to make database connection we have go to config folder and under this we have open database.php. Under this file we have to define MySQL database connection property like host set to local host, database name set to test, user name set to root and password set to blank. After for making database connection here we want to open .env file and here also we have define MYSQL database connection property like host set to local host, database name set to test, username set to root and password set to blank. Now first we want to make one controller with name pagination. So we have go to command prompt and here we have already run composer command and we have go come into Laravel working folder also. Now for create pagination controller, here we have write php artisan make double colon controller with pagination controller name, this command will make pagination controller. For view this controller we have go to Laravel working folder and under this we have open app folder and under this we have open HTTP folder and under this we have open controller folder and here we can find pagination controller file. So we have open this controller file and here we have write use statement with database. It can be used to perform most database operations in our Laravel application. Under this first we have write function index. This function has been called if we have directly called base url slash pagination in browser then this method has been called. Under this method we have write dollar data variable is equal to database class object with table method and under this method we have write posts table with paginate method with 5 records. This code will make query like select star from posts table limit 5 data and it will execute this query and return data has been stored under this dollar data variable. Below this we have write return statement with view method and under this we have write pagination view file name and compact function with data variable. This code will load pagination.blade.php file with data get from this compact data variable, this function create array containing variable and their values. Now we have moved to write code in view file which we have already created under resources slash view folder, so we have open file and in this we have already included jQuery and bootstrap library. Here we have already created one more view file like pagination data.blade.php, 
In this file we will load posts table data under this file. In this file we have create one table with three column like ID, title, and description. After this we want to display posts table data, so here we have write at the rate for each loop with dollar data as dollar row variable. First we want to end for each loop, for this here we have write at the rate end for each, by using this statement we can close this for each loop. Under this loop in first column we want to display post ID, so here we have write open and close curly bracket with dollar row with ID, it will print post ID under table. In second column we want to print post title data, so here we have write open and close curly bracket and between this we have write dollar row variable with post title table column. In last column we want to print post description data, so here we have write open and close curly bracket and between this we have write dollar row variable with post description. This code will print posts data in paginate form, now we want to print pagination link for go to next page records. For here we have write open and close curly bracket and between this we have make unescaped block and between this we have write dollar data variable with links method, this method will print pagination link on web page. Now we have go to pagination.blade.php file and here we have write division tag with id is equal to table data, under this tag we will display pagination data from pagination data.blade.php file. For display pagination data.blade file data here we have write at the rate include statement with view file name pagination data, by using this code it will display pagination data.blade.php file data here. Now we want to set root for load pagination data on web page, so we have go to roots folder and open web page.php file. Under this we have write root class with get method with two argument like slash pagination and pagination controller at index method, so when we have write pagination in browser then it will called index method of pagination controller. Now friends here in browser, we have write base url slash pagination, so here we can we posts table data on web page in pagination format and below we can see pagination link. Now we have checked this link working or not, so we have click on one link, after click on click table data has been changed it has load particular page data under table which we can see on web page. So this way we can implement simple pagination in Laravel, now we want make pagination in Laravel using Ajax functionality. For this we have go to pagination.blade.php file and here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this we have write click event with pagination class anchor tag selector. So when we have click on pagination link then this block of code will execute. Under this we have write event.prevent default method, this method will stop to refresh web page. Below this we have write page variable is equal to dollar the selector with attribute method and under this we have write href with split method and under this we have write page equal to with one index. 
Here by using attribute method we have get the URL of particular pagination link and from that link we want to get page and this page number has been get by using split method. Now we have called fetch data function and in page number argument we have write page variable, this function will send request to fetch data method of pagination controller. Below we have make fetch data function with page argument. Under this function we have write ajax request and under this request we have write url option set to pagination controller slash fetch data method question mark page is equal to page variable value. Here we have send ajax request to fetch data method of pagination controller and that method will return data based on value of page variable. After this we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server which we can access from this data variable. Under this variable we have write dollar with division tag id table data with html method and under this method we have write data variable, this method will change html data of this table data division tag. Now we have go to pagination controller and here we have create fetch data function with dollar request argument. This function will receive Ajax request. Under this function we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar request variable with Ajax method. If this function received Ajax request then it will execute if block of code. Under this method we have write dollar data variable is equal to database class object with table method and under this method we have write posts table with paginate method with 5 records. This code will make query like select star from posts table limit 5 data and it will execute this query and return data has been store under this dollar data variable. Below this we have write return statement with view method and under this we have write pagination view file name and compact function with data variable. This code will load pagination.blade.php file with data get from this compact data variable, this function create array containing variable and their values. Lastly we want to set root of this method, so we have go to web.php file and here we have write root class with get method with two argument. In first argument we have write slash pagination slash fetch data and in second argument we have write pagination controller at fetch data, so when this pagination slash fetch data URL has been called then it will called fetch data method of pagination controller. Now friends first we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page we can see posts data on web page in pagination format. Now we want to check Ajax code is working or not. So here we have click on one pagination link, after click on pagination link we can see table data has been changed but URL not change, that means it has fetch next data and display on web page without refresh of web page. Here we can see Ajax pagination nicely working in Laravel and we can see any pagination link data on web page without refresh of web page, this has been done by using Ajax.
So this is major benefits of pagination using Ajax, it has not load all data at the same time by it has divided data into different page and we can load that part data if we have required. And it has been load and display data in table on web page without refresh of whole web page, so this way we can implement pagination in Laravel using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.